The Twitter account, which launched following student demand for faster communication during campus emergencies, kept students up to date during the three-hour lockdown. Minutes after first reports, the alert account sent out tweets instructing people to avoid the area around the center. Police swarmed the campus and went through the center to evacuate students and to look for the reported gunman. Megan Dearlove, a freshman communications major, was in the field and sports building when the incident began. Dearlove said that the emergency response system helped keep the group stay calm during the lockdown. I think it helped a lot because it was a constant update. I know once I finally got my phone back, I had at least 10 messages, 10 text messages from like the BSU alert account and everything. So that helped a lot. I mean, obviously I didn't have my phone, but Elizabeth did and she was able to keep checking and being updated. So I think it really helped a lot. It would have been scarier without that. During the event, several students reported they got news from Twitter feeds other than the Ball State alert account. Tony Proudfoot, a university spokesman, said this is not surprising. Uh, you got to keep in mind that this is a public space and every um, uh, student that uh, is in there has an iPhone that probably has Twitter on it. Um, it is also right across the street from one of the best journalism schools in the country. And so if we have an enterprising student over there that sees something happen, they're going to tweet that out and, and that's going to start. That's just the nature of managing these events today. It has no reflection on the degree to which we manage the incident. Police report that no gunman was found and no one was injured during the event. In Muncie, Jacob Burbank.